Hi guys, welcome to Dead Man's Vapes. I'm Gaz, and today we are looking at the Yule World 20 and the 22 kits. Very, very nice kits. We have got the Yule World 20 in the plain silver colour, and then we've got the 22 in the, the iridescent colour, which is absolutely gorgeous. They're both available in the same colours. Um, now, they are designed as either a restricted lung drawer or a mouth drawer atomizer. Now, the 20 I've been using as the mouth drawer. The 22 I've been doing as the lung drawer. Now, vape production wise, even as a mouth drawer, it's brilliant. You still get a decent amount, more than you would with just a, a standard mouth draw kit. Um, one thing I would say is when it's fully charged and it's putting out that full 25 watts, so it's capable of doing, the vapor can be very, very warm, which for me, I really like. I know other people don't like the warm vapes. Um, so it's something to keep in mind. But the 22 is the one that I've been using as the lung draw kit, and the vapor production is brilliant on this. I've also found the flavour to be absolutely incredible with these coils. It's There's very, very few tanks or kits that I've tried without being rebuildables or anything, just standard atomizers. There's very few that I've found that give as good a flavour as these do. It is absolutely brilliant. I've tried a range of liquids in there from lemon pie from My Vapors, the lemon tart Route 66, Heisenberg from My Vapors. Um, I've also tried the Totally Wicked Red Label Orange and Lime Fizz. There's plenty that I've tried in there and not a single one uh, has been nasty or not given the full flavour that's there. And the coils themselves, um, I'm still on my first coil in both, which really shocks me. Um, as I've said before in videos, I can go through coils every two days, three days. But these, I've been testing them for around about a week, week and a half. And both atomizers are still going strong, still giving that fantastic flavour out. Uh, but let's take a closer look at the kits. So these are the kits themselves. The World 22 kit in the iridescent colour and the Euro 20 kit in the silver. Um, as I said before, all available in all the different colours that they do. Um, it's just I've got these two to show the difference between them. Now, both kits, look at your contents. You get World 22, World 20. One extra glass for each one. You get two of the 0.6 ohm coils for them. You get one pack of replacement O-rings, one micro USB cable, one user manual, and one drip tip cover, which is like a, it just stops dust and, and rubbish getting into the actual mouthpiece itself. If I move them out the way. Now, the kits themselves, absolutely gorgeous, especially this um, rainbow iridescent colour that they're doing. Um, and as you turn them over they've got this really fancy writing on the back there and um, you can see it better on the silver if i show you it just it just says well but it's in a really nice like old english style font very very nice kits now you've got your buttons on the front there as usual you've got usb ports on the bottom and they both have these adjustable air flows on the bottom as well very very easy to use uh, as I was showing before, um, they can be used as mouth draw or as a restricted lung draw. I've been using the silver as the mouth draw, the iridescent as the restricted lung draw, and they're absolutely brilliant. Now, between them, you've got a 700 milliamp battery in the UWL 20, the smaller one. You've also got a 1600 milliamp battery in the UWL 22. Now, for the extra difference in price, in all honesty, I would go for the 22. It's only a couple of quid more, but as I'll show you in a minute, it's a lot easier to fill, it's a lot easier to maintain, you've got that bigger battery life there, and there's not a lot of size difference between them, if I'm honest. For If we look at the 20 first, now, for filling this, it's simple. It Turn it upside down, unscrew that base, and it will come out. And that atomizer just pulls out of the new one, push it in. The only reason I'm not taking it out is because if my tank's full of liquid, it's going to get everywhere. Now, the actual tank itself on the 20, it is bottom fill. So you do exactly the same to fill it up. But the actual like, exoskeleton is on the outside here. 
Um, so it gives that glass a bit of protection. You've got a spare one in the, the box as well, but that gives it a bit of protection against dropping it. Now, if we look at the 22, the glass is on the exterior, so it's got more of a chance of breaking. It's same to change your atomizer. You unscrew it all upside down, but to fill this one, all you do is unscrew that top cap and you've got the two filling holes there. So it's dead, dead simple, dead easy to fill. I'm absolutely loving this kit. The 20 is just as good as the 22 um, for vapor production wise, flavor wise, length of your time you get out of your coil. I would just prefer that top filling method, uh, the bigger battery, because I do absolutely tan these at times. Um, but again both are fantastic kits this has become by far recently my favorite all day vape especially because you can use it in mouth draw or lung draw option and um, it, it is fantastic they're very very nice looking they're not a heavy kit either very nice in your pocket and um, very nice vaping style definitely one i would highly recommend it it's the most recommended sig that i can give you at the minute um, especially if you wanted something pen style, cheap, easy to maintain, easy to fill. I would definitely say go for the 22. Spend that extra few quid on getting the bigger battery and the, the easier fill. Um, but check them out, have a good look at them and see what you think. As always down in the description below, I'm going to put the link for Tech, the electronic cigarette company. They sell both of these kits, whichever one you decide you like or you want to go for. Um, if you add all your items to your basket, get to your checkout and use code DMV20, you'll get 20% off all fully priced items. Uh, they also have the fantastic offer on the coils as well. If you find them cheaper elsewhere, let them know and they'll double the difference back to you. I'm also going to link up my Facebook and my Instagram um, for Dev Man's Vapes. There's going to be plenty of content on there. I put daily posts up with the pictures, videos, um, tricks, kits, new deliveries editing anything like that it's it's quite interesting for me to do as well as to see um, so if you can follow me give us a like share our pages um, most importantly give us a subscribe on the youtube channel that would be fantastic any comments feedback messages always much appreciated i'm going to crack on with some more reviews and i hope to see you again next time